explaining what's going on in some of these scenes. So, okay, so the first shot of the trailer is in fact of Tony Stark and Tony this is a flashback and it's all in this sort of ready monochrome color that is a mix between gray and red so it only shows the red so obviously signifying blood and you know destruction and things like that so Tony's in the sand and in the dialogue he says he wishes he can do one more trick so he's talking to his helmet in the spaceship so we see the spaceship actually once again in the next shot and so he's stuck in space with nebula and so they will get home and i'll talk about that later in this video but then we move on and we see a captain america flashback and so we see him from the first film and he's you know reflected in it so this is how he's changed he's become this sort of soldier this hero that he now is and so he says the world is changed none of us can go back so actually he doesn't say that it's a female voice and i'm unsure who it actually is it might be black widow but it doesn't really sound like her so i'm a bit unsure as to who specifically is talking but that's of relevance because she says none of us can go back and obviously these last remaining avengers are going to try and stop thanos and reverse things if they can and so then we get a Thor flashback with Odin, so just sort of establishing things that are really close to the characters' hearts and, you know, what they've been through in the past. And then we go over and we see Hawkeye with his kid. She's definitely going to die. This is such a sentimental moment that you see. It's just like total setup for her to get dusted, and I believe that's probably definitely what's going to happen. And then we move on and we see a shot of that we saw in the last trailer actually of Black Widow and now Ronan as he calls himself in this trailer and so they're together and this is like the first time they meet in a quite a long time and we get another Captain America flashback to when Peggy died so again very very sentimental this trailer and it really hits you in the emotion then we get a montage of the dustings that happened at the end of Infinity War and so again in that red and white and grey sort of colour scheme and we move on and we see a shot and this shot is in fact of Ant-Man and he's looking at these missing posters so there's a lot of missing posters and so this is presumably very early on just out of the quantum realm when he gets out and he's like huh why is there like not that many people and why are there so many missing signs and I'm pretty sure he's finding out sort of at that moment he's getting the gist of what's happened and then we move on to the next shot and we see black widow and she's got her new hair which i have to say i really like i like the mix i don't know that's just like a aesthetical thing that i like and so she's there and she's with banner and captain america as you can see in this shot he kind of seems like he's smiling but it's like sort of a smirk more than a smile so i don't think he's very happy anyway and then we move on and we see a shot of this and this is one of the avengers spaceships i do believe i could be totally wrong on that but yeah so after all of the destruction you know showing the montages of the dusting he essentially well they all say that none of us can go back and you know they actually survived and they're not going to just sit around and do nothing essentially so even though even if there is a small chance we owe this to everyone who is not in the room says black widow whilst with ronan which is very 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 exciting as you can see in this shot she's got her new hair and they're in the spaceship presumably and so ronan has his you know new hairstyle or whatever it is and he's getting caught in this explosion he's running out so maybe this is part of the mission or maybe this is what he's been doing in the meantime whilst he was away during infinity war unsure as to this bit but then we see rocket and war machine which is a really really nice team up actually and i like the shot a lot and so they're sort of covered by smoke so i'm guessing this is in the middle of a battle and then we move on we see captain america and He's outside and he's with Ronan, so they're all presumably grouping up at this like farmhouse. Maybe it's Ronan's house, maybe it is actually Hawkeye's house that we've seen in the past, which is very interesting if it is. Maybe it's like a hideout for now, but then we see a new shot of Ant-Man and he's just in some sort of 
room. I'm guessing this is in the Avengers headquarters and he's sort of leaning forward so maybe there's someone that he's talking to. He's sort of looking at something and he's a bit confused I think. Maybe this is the first time or one of the early times that he comes in and maybe sees, you know, what was there before. And then we see this shot of Thor. I'm unsure as to if this is actually a new shot or not, but it's amazing nevertheless because we've seen a very similar shot in Infinity War, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly sure this might be a new shot, but it's, you know, him harnessing his powers. And then we move on to a massive battle. It's full of destruction, as you can see in the background. And Nebula is in the foreground, and she is full of rage, as she normally is. But it seems like she's probably fighting Thanos in the scene. And it has to be noted, Thanos is not seen in this trailer. And we only saw one singular shot of him actually moving in the last trailer. So they're keeping that on the low. Just, you know, focusing on the impact of what happened at the end of Infinity War. And so then we see the next shot and so Black Widow is inside the headquarters it looks like I, I can't 100% tell because the background but she's definitely in one of their places and she's firing bullets into this target and this is just her training for what's to come and so then we move on to the next shot and the next shot is probably one of the best shots of the trailer one of my favorites and you see Captain America with a face full of dirt in the middle of that same massive battle and he's been like blasted all over the place you can tell it's sort of like a mixture between dirt and ash and he's been flung around and this is the battle of his life and so we move on to the next shot very similar sort of color scheme and there's fire everywhere there's a pencil i notice a teacup or like a coffee cup or something and water or tea or coffee is spilling out and there's fire all around so at man's running through so this might be in the battle or it might be, you know, the headquarters getting attacked or something like that. But then we move on and we see Iron Man and he's again in the same ship that he was before. So the same color scheme. So very early on in the film. And so he's there and then we move on to the next shot. And this is the bit where we get the massive reveal of them all in the Quantum Realm suits, which is absolutely amazing. And... You see Steve, and then you see Ant-Man, Ronan, now called Ronan, you know, Hawkeye. But then you see Nebula and Tony Stark, so that's a massive reveal. They 100% get back to Earth. I'm very surprised they included that in the trailer, because that's a big spoiler for the plot of the film and how it's going to actually go over and sort of play out in the narrative. And you see Black Widow there as well, as well as everyone else. I think that's Thor behind it. I can't be sure about that. But they're all in the Quantum Realm suit, so they're all ready to, you know, whatever they're going to do. Change the timeline, time travel, go to another version of the multiverse. I don't know. I really am sort of like just waiting to find out about that in the film. And I, we will definitely find out about that. But then we go to my favorite part of the trailer. And my favorite part of the trailer is the ending where we get the reveal of Captain Marvel with Thor. And so this is so exciting because, as you know, if you've watched my channel, you watch my review and everything, I loved Captain Marvel. I've seen it twice. I got to see it at press screening. Then I went opening night to see it again because it's an amazing film. And I really love Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. She's a brilliant actress. And so finally, like after seeing the post credit scene, this definitely is sort of just after that because we see Black Widow still with the white hair and we know she changes her hair later and I love this scene. It's really funny and you know it's Thor properly being introduced to her the first time or like the second time or something but he pulls in his hammer, he gets it, she's sort of unfazed by it, she sort of smirks and then we see this wide shot and he's like I like this one and I, I really really appreciated that end scene in the trailer because again the reason I was excited for Avengers Endgame of course because I really liked Infinity War but I'm double as excited just to see Captain Marvel in this because again I watched that so recently and I love the film so much it's probably one of my favorite MCU films 
and now to see her with the team that's just beyond exciting to me just to revisit her again revisit you know the different things maybe we will see a cameo from Nick Fury sometime at the end of this maybe when everything's back to normal that would be nice because I love their relationship in Captain Marvel so 